Yo guys, what's going on? With it coming to the end of 24, there's a couple of things that I'm going to be doing, a couple of videos I'm going to be doing, just to talk about some things. And a couple of things I'm going to be talking about over the next couple of weeks is just things that in 24, what I have opinions on that could be different. And it's not going to be crazy. I'm not going to do 9 million of these videos. I'll just do like one or two throughout the month of September, but we're coming into an end. And what I'm going to talk about today is team builders. Team builders are a card that is dominant, but if you ask people are too expensive so i got one really big way on how it would make team builders god tier must have cards must chase cards and everybody would see them as that and i want your opinion on it down below so let's go look at some things but leave in the comment section down below if you think that this would really pull the team builders up to an unmatchable level of card now honestly you might be saying team builders are already crazy now if you are saying that leave in the comment section down below what you think makes these so dominant and do they uh, go above and beyond their price? Because a couple of people say that the price tag is too much. And what I'm trying to do with this video is see the feedback on what people think of team builders and if this would put them to the must build category. Because 99s, as you know, you need a lot of 94s to get the 99s. 84, sorry, to get the 99s. You need a lot of them to build up. You need two Matt Sundins to get a 99. Yes, the cards are powerful and the cards are dominant, but I believe they stop at 90 for me. Like where you notice an impactful card on a team builder, yes, the 87s were unreal at the launch of the game and for about a month. Kevin Lowe was a great card. Robitaille was a great card. Bill Guerin I wasn't a huge fan of, but nothing beat Joe Neuendijk. He was an unreal centerman. He was the best, arguably the best team builder at 87 overall some people are going to say breeze wall was better i could listen to that best forward new and dyke best defenseman breeze wall but in my opinion new and dyke was the must have in the 87s and then when the 90s came out mike medano was unmatched mike medano was an unbelievable team builder that everybody had to have and even in when the 93s were released mike medano was the best team builder even when 93s were out you look at the the jason arnett mike medano was better the rick nash mike medano was better the robertson and sallow i know they're defensemen but i would rather have had mike medano than one of those two cards and it took two 90s to make one of those cards so they should have been better now with this being said you are either on the fence that team builders are always the best or they're too expensive this is where I want to get to in this video, and that is how do I make team builders more effective or more of a god tier card? Well, you know how we have these here where you can change their synergies? This is where I think team builders should be fully customizable with abilities. Because some like because when cards come out, the first thing we look at, we don't care about the name. Nobody cares about the name when a card comes out. They care about the height of the player, the speed of the player, and the ability and the synergies of the player. The top right, the top left number of the card, that's a currency. When you're building cards, you don't care about the currency of it because you want the card to be the best you can build. And team builders are supposed to be the best that you can build, but they're held back by their ability. So what I'm going to say here is, although you wouldn't take quick draw off of Jason Arnott, you wouldn't probably take Big Tipper off of him because he's a centerman. Quick draw, Big Tipper, they're beautiful on a centerman. But when you look at big rig, close quarters, and Eclipse, maybe you leave Eclipse, but at this point, I'm thinking to make Jason Arnett better, why not make it snappy and 1T or make it snappy and elite edges or maybe you're a fan of wheels and you want make it snappy and wheels. This is where team builders could be improved and... I think this is needed because then it truly makes the team builders dominant, powerful cards that build your team, right? They're team builders. I think they should have every single synergy available to suit the team you are trying to build. And I think they should have every AP available, every ability available to suit the team that you're trying to build and the player you're trying to play. Yes, custom builds for MSPs and everything in the game are okay, but maybe you're a fan of Jeremy Roenick. Well, I don't like back at you. So immediately, I'm not spending or putting the investment into this Jeremy Roenick card to get back at you. I'm just not doing it, right? Back at you, big rig, close quarters. None of that was stuff that intrigued me early on. Now, if this Jeremy Roenick had have had 
gold quick draw wheels and make it snappy this card would have been as dominant as the joe newendike now it did lack in face-offs that's why it wasn't too crazy awesome so maybe you used him as a winger and if you were going to use him as a winger because his face-offs were so low now we're looking at give me wheels make it snappy tape to tape wheels make it snappy one t wheels make it snappy elite edges all in which would have made this card more dominant and to that point it also should you should have the ability of changing every synergy now you need the reason to upgrade so yes 87 should only have three abilities one gold two silver and two synergies i agree with that because as they get better and better you unlock more and more slots but they should be fully customizable with with the synergies, you should be able to put whatever synergies you want on. Yes, you'll only have two, but you should be able to pick the two that are going to elevate your team or elevate the card. This is something that I think team, team builders need, and uh, I'm really curious about your guys' feedback on it. Because when these cards come out, Matt Sundin's card comes out, everyone, the first thing they do is go, ah, oh, gold born leader. If he had a had gold quick draw, I remember this card dropping and everyone's biggest thing was if he had a had gold quick draw, this card would have been nuts. And they're not wrong. If they just had to switch the two, it would have been unbelievable because backhand beauty is great in this game. Tipper is great for centerman. Gold quick draw is what you wanted, but it, it just missed. And then if you could have switched Unstoppable Force would make it snappy. You would have been happy, right? That is where this card misses. But then you get something like this where it all lines up as a perfect build. You got Quick Pick. You got Shutdown. You got 1T. You got Thunderclap. You got Born Leader. If I could have removed Bouncer and put in Tape to Tape, I think this Shea Weber would have been the best card all year. And then that brings us to the 99s again, talking about a centerman with silver quick draw this is the most impactful ability for a position you you need quick draw on your centerman you absolutely need it and it needs to be called quick draw i think this is one thing that would make them dominant that's really what i think and leave in the comment section down below guys what you guys think about team builders because i think building them's fine i think the price of them's fine if we were fully customizable i think it would make them more dominant and more chase cards because there's some people that just write them off and it's for reasons like this right at the start of the year bill garen he has a good speed boost but he should have all of them so you can get him up to 90 speed cards good but none of his ability points but none of his ap is good i don't want any of these abilities so at, right out of the gate you're like i'm not gonna sink this investment in to these cards that I can't customize the way I want. I think this would be the biggest step forward when it comes to piecing together a team and building it the way you want. But please guys, leave in the comment section down below. Do you think that customizable abilities is too powerful on team builders? Or do you think that team builders should be the top tier cards with the best customizable abilities you can get to give you the incentive because they are the most expensive cards in this game to build each time they come out they have the highest price tag to go after so i'd love to hear you guys feedback i can't wait to see that in the comment section down below but thank you guys for watching this video till next time ciao ciao